Hello, everyone. Wait, am I muted? <sighs> How is it going, everyone? How's the evening? How's your um, mornings? How's your days? How's it going, Starwalker? Thank you. Sheila, hey, Sheila, how are you? Million, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Darcy, Totten. Um, prob probs. I can't say the rest of it. Hey, everyone. Oh, it's going quick. Jay, how are you? Vahora, Vahora's by Veronica. Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. Bad Witch. Hi, how are you? Shant Shantalisha, good to see you. Oh, it's the same crowd. Bread, bread milk, stick of butter. How are you? Hi, <laughs> Robert. I'm 10 minutes. And 10 minutes about to have a week. Oh, is it Friday today? It's Thursday today. Time zones, right? <laughs> hello from Canada. Hey, how are you? Hello from Belgium. Hello, hello. I'm good, everyone. Thank you. I didn't have a nightmare last night. You know, you know what? After the horror game last night, I was pretty... I was pretty tame. Like I was, I was all right. I watched a film and then um, that was it. Hey, from Florida, Fiona. Elise, Elise, is it Elise or Elise? From, hello from hell. <laughs> Hi there, Becky. Yeah, that, ga that game was a, a strange one. Still half asleep here in Los Angeles, but couldn't miss this. You know what? I am so, I am so tired. In general, I'm having such a, a not a very good sleep week. <laughs> For Kangs were here, I was just happy you immediately put out that JLo video to take my mind off that game. Yeah. Oh, was that that day? Is what day is it today? Where's where's my phone? Oh no, where's my phone? Guys, let me just grab my phone. I'll be. Okay, hi. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I work 32 hours, which means I always have a day off on Fridays. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Hello, hello, you dog owning bitch. Hey, Sam, how are you? <laughs> oh, your laptop died. Oh, no. We are, I'm just chatting today, so I'm doing like mundane cleaning the valley in Dreamlight Valley after <laughs> my horror game experience yesterday. I think, I mean, my my, my fiance is back in on Sunday morning, so I'm going to wait for someone else to be in the house. It wasn't that terrifying afterwards. I think it was like fine, right? It wasn't the scariest. <laughs> Gum, cry. <laughs> it wasn't the scariest. It was, it was... I think during it, I was scared. And then when it came to a bit at the end, if you haven't watched it already, I won't ruin it. But at the end, it got a bit crazy. And I was like, yeah, no, that's that's me done. <laughs> so glad you started to stream as both of my dogs are asleep on my legs. No, you can't move. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm just chatting today. Oh, hit my microphone. Just having a nice time. I'm trying to get my stream hours up this week. Um, my husband just got home and asked who I was texting and why I looked so happy. And I just answered Robert and he said, oh, the Mega Twin. Oh, thank you. Saying my boyfriend's sick of me and I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know. I'm, um, what was I gonna say? <clears throat> Excuse me. I actually don't know what I was gonna say. Oh yeah, apologies. You know my bot has a go at you if you breathe. So I do apologize if you get one of those one second bans. <laughs> We will have a one second <laughs> dog. <laughs> I know what you meant. Is anything happening I don't see here? Do you hear me now? Am I live for everyone? 
I lost my boyfriend to a new god of war, so I'm happy to have something else to watch. Ah. Oh. That's why I couldn't hear anything. Okay. Tell me if the game was a bit loud. Oh, it's, it's always raining. Every time I get in here, it's raining. And I just kind of, although I hate the sun, I would like to look at some sun. Oh, there's the sun right there. Don't look directly at the sun. We all know that, right? And I still haven't seen that Mickey cloud. It does, it exists, right? I have seen it. I've definitely seen it. I've definitely seen it around. Oh, another chest. I stopped playing Dreamlight because I found the missions got too hard. Collecting rare items and crafting difficult to craft items. And then save a billion pounds to progress. Yeah, you know what? I, I actually found that I... I, I mentioned in my... Oh, I don't think I saved my first one. I mentioned that I was like, kind of like saving some items that I was taking ages to, to kind of save up. Because I wanted to build like that Mickey Mouse water tower thing. And some of the missions that I was on required me to use up some of those items I was saving and I was gutted. I was like, oh, I think it was iron. Is it iron ore? Um, yeah. Yeah, it kn it knows you like rain. Yeah, I think it does. I wonder if it does it on weather, depending on area, because I never liked it. Those things are so boring. Um, because it's raining. <laughs> Which is, is my preferred weather. If you hear background jazz, that's my dogs. They're chewing little thingies and listening to jazz because that's their preferred lifestyle. <laughs> I'm stuck trying to fix the wreck and the other mission is spend a ton of money for us. Like, yeah. The wreck, that's Donald's house. Oh, you said this the other, were you here last time? You were trying to fix Donald's house, right? I remember I had to ask my my fiance, I was like, what's, what uh, What do I do here? Well, I saw a post on Facebook the other day. Did you notice that the memory ball things are like the ones from Inside Out? They are. I didn't until you said that. I mean, chewing on things and listening to jazz sounds like a lovely day. It does. It really does. Coin. Oh, for Goofy. Oh. Wait, when, when, how far is that into the game? Is it Reese? I finished all the missions, so now just collecting things and money. Not boring, though. I need a new update. Yeah, I... Um, see, I quite like doing this. Like, I love, in real life, collecting things. Not, like, having a collection. Well, I guess it is. But, you know, if, like, say, for example, a brand releases, like, a range of Disney makeup, I am I will buy every single thing in that collection. I love having the full, uh, the full collection. So when I love going around and just... Pick, pick, no! Why... That's Goofy's little thing. How's it going? Let's just sell. I know we'll need these later, but I just want them out of the way. They, they appear. Actually, these yellow ones. I might go and put them in my inv inventory. Because I remember really wanting them and I can't remember why. But there's a, something that comes up later where I think I really need them. Oh my god, Robert, I know you don't like Star Wars, but I'm dying for the Pat McGrath Star Wars palette. I, you know what, I, I watched Star Wars, like the original originals, and every, all of them annoyed me. All the main people really annoyed me. I wanted the, the dark side to kill them all. <laughs> I was like, get over and done with it. Let's do this. So I think it was more that, that I didn't really get into it because I was like, I can't, I don't like the main people. I don't, I don't want them to succeed in life but um i went on the ride in um florida what's it called rise of resistance incredible did i know what was going on absolutely not but it was amazing and i did buy two of the palettes and two lip glosses from a pat mcgrath star wars collection their shipping though pat mcgrath shipping is something else it's like don't expect it don't expect it like you know that month <laughs> wait where's the other one Where's the other one? Oh. Ah! Ah! Please! No! No! <laughs> okay. Ooh. Um, Best ride ever, but I also didn't have a clue what... Yeah, I was like, this is great. Like, the experience is great, but I have no idea what is happening. Like, I don't get all the... 
But you know what? If I did, I did try to get into so I was like, let's start from the beginning. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Let, I'm going to learn all the names, which physically my dyslexia won't. Hi, hi, class Ify. How are you? Good to see you again. Thanks for being here. Rage Flower. Hi. Hi, Robert. I hope you're well. I'm actually just tagged you in a tweet, and I really appreciate you seeing it when you're free. Oh. I will. Yeah, I don't get many notifications on there, so... As long as it, as long as you don't tag me in it when I'm asleep, and I'll see it. Especially <laughs> my reaction every time a coin sky. I know, and then it gets like caught or like round a corner or on something, you know. I swear, this is like it gets super untidy. Last time I was on here, like just in like a just chatting thing on here, it it just kept going on and going on. I swear, usually like it takes a little while for the place to get, you know, overrun again by the, what are they called? Night fawns, whatever. Go to drop off just to say hi. Thank you so much for coming in. I'll see you soon. So lovely to see you streaming again. It's so nice being able to chat with you in real time. Thank you, and you. Who's your favorite Disney character? Not a princess. Ah, oh, shit. Um... It's a really obscure one, but Perry the Platypus. <laughs> I love it. I think it's so cute when his when his like not in his um spy thing and his like his cute in that too, but when he's like in just a normal normal platypus, I think it's really cute. Have you seen the Duna Tiana movie? A second one? Or do you mean the TV series? Or are they doing a uh, Princess and a Frog too? My boyfriend loves Perico Platters. Yeah, he's cute. It's great. Why isn't it? Can you turn these on and off? I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? Look! That's cute. Working on my dissertation deadline tomorrow. Are you nearly done? Or are you panic are you panic working on your dissertation? So I used to do like homework and schoolwork. Doing it in the morning off. Oh. Your personality is perfect for streaming. I used to always think watching you and Jane's videos. I'm so happy you're on Twitch. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think it's because I'm just good at just talking non-stop. <laughs> What's your dissertation on, if you don't mind me asking? That's like the really important one you do, right? At the end of university? Am I right? And you have to like pages and pages and pages and pages and pages. What's everyone else's favorite Disney character? That's not a, pr not a prince, not a princess, and not Olaf. What's, <laughs> what's everyone's favorite? Because everyone always says Olaf, and it's like, yeah, okay. I get it. <laughs> Crunk. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. I love Maleficent as well. She's just, like, classy. Rude as fuck, but classy. Is that what I say? Remy? You little Remy. Olaf drives me insane. Me too. Henwin, the pig from Black Cauldron. Mine is a lady from Lady and the Tramp. Yeah, Lady's like classy too. Wally, oh, he's so cute. Maleficent, yeah. Kovu, what's my. Kovu, Kovu, Kovu. Who, what's Kovu from? I can imagine an old woman saying his name. Thank you for the good luck, guys. I'm almost done. I have to do some self reflection and then just checking in on everything. My topic is on a new law on supervision and management of legal entities will affect a certain organization that I'm working with. I'm about 43, that sounds so good luck to you. That sounds very um, intelligent. The raccoon from Pocahontas. Wait, your first crush was the raccoon from Pocahontas? Pascal, Scuttle, yeah. Wait, Kovu, Kovu was the raccoon from Pocahontas. And who was your first crush? Mushu, that's a good one. Maleficent, my favorite. No judging. Who does the Sleeping Beauty, Hercules, Pocahontas, and Hunchback of Notre Dame. I might watch that tonight. I said that last time, but I forgot about Hunchback. I haven't seen it for years. My childhood dog looked like Lady, Lady, which is why she's my favorite. Aww. Glad I'm not alone. Milo, actually, yeah. 
Yeah, if you had to marry one prince, who would it be? Um, not just because it's my favorite film, but probably Naveen because he just lets Tiana get on with it. She, he, he respects her work. He respects that she has to do stuff. He has got his own thing and he's happy to help, you know. Um, he's, he's good with people. He'll be a good partner to be like, this is my partner. Respects what I do. He's socially, socially acceptable. <laughs> I'm thinking very, um, very practically. Lion King 2, not Pocahontas. You mean the lion? It sounds very intelligent, which I'm not. It's been taking me about two years because I've been dealing with mental health. Oh, but I pulled it through. Well, good for you. I'm glad you managed to, to pull through and get on with it. Is it like you definitely, like you 100% want to be doing? I love the bad lines in liking too. General Shang does he crash. My be Eugene from Tangled. The raccoon is called Miko. Yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Great. So wait, so who is Kovu? Did we decide? Chip from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> it's cute. Did anyone watch the um, 30th celebration of Beauty and the Beast? Ah, uh, he was a bad boy in liking too. I wish you could choose. Like, it's raining, is that okay? You could be like, no. <laughs> I would want it to I want it to be sunny. Yeah, I love Lord, just not sure which direction I want to go in yet fully and thank you. I uh, yeah, I think um There's a lot in law. I, I think people don't really realise. I think they think you're a lawyer. And it's gonna be just like um legally blonde. <laughs> Glad I caught a stream. It's usually too early in Hawaii, but I'm in Miami for a conference and it's perfect timing. Hey, how are you? Miami is such a conference place. Miami and Florida is such a, like, everyone come here for a conference. Isn't it? Is it? <laughs> a woods and lawyer cuts. Yeah. <laughs> there's so many fields. Yeah, there's also a ton of non-law options if you have a law degree. Oh, yeah. And it's also a good argument. Like if you're just arguing with anyone about anything, and even if you're wrong, well, actually I have a law degree and the law says, and you can just make it up and win the argument. Las Vegas and Orlando are conference hotspots too, yeah. When I was in Disney last, they actually had, was it at the beach club or boardwalk? They had this m massive, sorry, one second guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry, everyone. Good skis. I love Meredith's little brothers. Oh yeah, it must have been Beach Club. But yeah, Beach Club, that was it. I was at Bulldog the same time as you know, that was it, Beach Club. And I had this massive um, like tent out the back or something. Oh yeah, Hades is good. Here's, here's a laugh. Guys, I'm really sorry. Would you mind if I just went for five minutes and I will be right back I'll leave you with the Disney music. <laughs> I'll just do one second.
sorry about that, everyone. I'm back. <laughs> Not everyone stops working when I do. <laughs> Okay, how's everyone doing? Hello, how are you doing? Sir, Sir, Sir pa Palit, that sounds like Palit, but posh. Sir Palit. Oh, is that cloud here yet? Right, am I going crazy? There is, there is a Mickey shaped cloud. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's right there. Yay, still here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Randy. Thank you for being here. There it is. Look how cute. I'm rolling cake walks. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Katie, Robert, I had to download Twitch for you. Oh, thank you so much. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I guess I'm a game again girl now. Listen, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing either. It took me ages to set this up. <laughs> Just studying. It's a Finnish word. Oh. How's the stream going? Yeah, fine. I just had to take a quick quick little uh, step away, but we're good. We're good. We're back on it. That's some pretty fun LFA music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just got off a work training call. Oh, that sounds fun and not fun. I remember I've been watching all the saved videos. I'm glad to finally be here for live. Oh, thank you so much. I need to remember to save the um, ones I did. Because I keep forgetting. Literally no structure to what I'm doing. So I'm just walking around doing anything. I actually use Twitch to give my Zumba classes. Oh, that's a good idea. I guess it's not just gaming and stuff, is it? People um, stream. If you hear my dogs barking, it's because they can hear children outside and just like me they don't like other people having fun <laughs> <laughs> what are some other games you think i should play on here we've done the sims we're doing this we did that um <laughs> that game last night fears to fathom i don't at the moment i'm not like wanting to play games where i have to interact with other people just yet, so like phasmoph phasmoph phasmophobia, phasm you know what I'm trying to say. I do want to get into that though eventually because a lot of people have asked me. I'm just, I'm just shy. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say they like you, they don't like children. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, no, they're, they're nice to children. Animal Crossing, I wonder if I should start that again. Oh, that's, this isn't what I want to do. Oh, let's do it anyway, I forgot. Um. Hey Robert, my wife will be super excited to see you streaming this today. She's working now, but we'll watch the video later. I'll show her how to sub when you get partnered. Oh, thank you so much. Dead by Daylight is another one I want to play, but you have to interact with people, right? I think I'm going to start playing Disney because of you. It's fun. It is good. It's, it's calming. It's nice. It's relaxing. Coral Island, Little Nightmares, Little Nightmares, Resident Evil, The Last of Us. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I could have my eyes to see me. I'm early enough for a stream. Andrea, hey! Is it Christmas? A little Nightmare. That seems to be a popular one. Is that the one where it's just like your shadow, like a silhouette, like running across like platforms? It's about the time screen guy is lazy. I'll see something rather than handing out jobs, taking. I know the things I've done for him. I'm not doing things today. I'm so ready for Dreamlight update. Yeah, Skyrim. Try Fall Guys. Okay. I feel dumb. I don't know any games. Yeah, I mean, I don't either. No, that's Limbo. Oh. Little Nightmare. Is that that girl? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Look, um, That's that really creepy one. Those people with massive heads, right? I have a friend who's never seen a Disney movie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's incorrect. That's the incorrect way to live. <laughs> Little Nightmares is the same as Limbo. I thought it was similar. Never seen a Disney movie. <sighs> I, my first ever, well, not film I owned because obviously my parents bought it for me, but it was Beauty and the Beast on VHS. That was my first ever movie that I owned a physical copy of. I was obsessed, obsessed with that film. 
Not anymore. <laughs> Hey babies. Oh, hi. Little dogs are sitting at my feet. I don't even understand how that's possible. There's so many. Yeah, I think maybe they they think they haven't seen one, but it has actually been one. Do you know what I mean? Plague Tale is good. It has kids in, but that could be fun. I just started Kirby Dreamland ones. Oh, Kirby's always been cute. I have all the Disney VHS tapes my parents bought us as kids. Hold on to them. Pass them down. My boyfriend had only seen Brother Bear. It's safe to say I've given him a div Yeah, oh my god. It's just... Honestly, if somebody hasn't seen a Disney film, I'll, I would, like, willingly watch it with them and be like, let me be there. <laughs> let me be there the first time you watch, you know, this film. I'm going to sell to the... I've watching someone else's Resident Evil games. I can't. Yeah, I. That's the thing. I'll watch somebody else, but me playing them. Absolutely not. We watched somebody. Who was it? We watched play. Oh, it was Gabby. Is it Gabby Smolder? Is that her name? We watched her play. The recent one, the whole way through, because we just couldn't. We couldn't bring ourselves to it. And then after you watch it, then you can play it because you know what's kind of happening, right? Snow White was the first Disney VHS I owned. Sword in Stone. Oh yeah. Two Point Hospital, Two Point Campus is good. Oh, Two Point um, Hospital, I remember that used to be called. What did that used to be called? Wasn't it like Hospital Tycoon or something like just, you know? I love Gab, yeah. If your parents didn't use Disney movies to babysit you in the 80s, early 90s, did you even have parents? <laughs> yeah, they're a good distraction, right? Playing this after seeing him play. Yeah. My hubby and I tried playing a Resident Evil game together and kept passing the controller to each other when it got too scary. Yeah, see, I couldn't. I The thought of, like, it would stress me out having to hold... Oh, having to hold the remote while, like, something's chasing you. Or, mm. Theme Hospital was the original. Oh, Theme Hospital, was that what it's called? I cry watching every Disney movie, Toy Story 3. Toy Story 3, they, they, did, they did that on purpose to everyone. Horrible people. <laughs> Hello, Ollie, how are you? Hi, Robert, and a chat. Hey, Kittens McGee, how are you? Happy to be here. Happy you're here. That's so funny. My husband and I love playing Resident Evil games. I mean, he plays and I watch, yeah. I used to binge watch, watch Centaur Girls in Fantasia. They were so pretty. Fantasia's never one I got into, but I did. I liked um, like the imagery and stuff. It was cool. I was in high school then so my disney babysitting was over <laughs> right what's going on down here hi babies one of my dogs is trying to lay on the other one this is gonna you're gonna you're gonna annoy her frankie frankie i fantasize on aladdin as a tween i fantasize on aladdin as a tween oh guys calm down it's just people outside Robert, I'm sorry if this isn't loud and it's cheeky, but I'd love for you to follow my Instagram. I have a link to it in your Discord. Oh, Jay. Yeah, of course. Oh, my God. Oh, God, my dogs do that and it annoys the other one too. Yeah, she gets really... The thing is, she can go and sit next to him and it's absolutely fine. But if he dares get anywhere near her, she she full on like huffs and get up, gets up and walks, walks away. He was scratching his ear a lot the other day. And oh my gosh, she was getting pissy. She was, she, and he was nowhere near her. She was looking at him and growling and s sitting down, standing up and looking at him. It's like a dog's version of tarting at someone. <laughs> Is the squirrel back? No, I haven't seen the squirrel in a while. Um, I think because they were outside one time, my dogs were outside one time, the squirrel ran across and they, it, they scared the shit out of a squirrel, poor little guy. So I think, um, oh, <laughs> so I think, I, I, I think it's like, yeah, it's not a good idea for him anymore. Not that they would ever hurt, Well, they probably would hurt him if they got a hold of it. I don't know. Um, 
no, they wouldn't. They wouldn't do that. They're not like they're, they're not those kind of people. Um, but safety, right? Half my half my I love this chat. Me too. Half my life is spent keeping my cats from fighting each other. Yeah, they just they know how to get to each other, don't they? It's like real brothers and sisters. Like they know how to piss each other off. Doggy drama queen, she is. She really is. <laughs> a boy dash hound lays on top of our female all the time. Your dogs sound like exactly the same personalities as mine. Pumas are like, I was here first, you peasant. Exactly. It's exactly that. The way my first dog, Winnie, she instantly matured overnight when we got Frankie as, as a puppy. She was like not having any shit like overnight, you know. <laughs> but she's also super playful. It's really strange when she's like around like my brother's dogs. He has two golden retrievers. She always wants to play with the girl, and like because they used to have like the the best time like running around. But it would be like we would have to physically stop them to have a break because it would be nonstop. It's like you're gonna dehydrate. You are gonna dehydrate and and I don't know, not be able to stand up anymore. Oh, excuse me. If someone hates dogs, I'm like, bye. Yeah, I don't get it. I well, I get it if they have like passed like a really bad experience with a dog. Like, I think my mum was bit by a dog when she was younger. Um, Winnie, give it a rest. Um, yeah, when she was younger, and now she absolutely loves our dogs. So. Winnie, it's okay, baby. You've been silly. I can't even give him anything to distract when we were filming, me and James were filming for our joint channel this morning. What am I doing? Um, so they've had a lot of distraction, food distractions. <laughs> I don't hate dogs, just bad dog owners. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's exactly it. Very true. We often do the same, love watching story games, but more recently I've been playing it by myself more often. Yeah, I never used to really play by myself. I would play like Pokemon, of course, on like the Switch and that was it. Marcus, hi, how are you? Winnie is putting me off watching the stream. I know, she's such, she's such a distraction. Three messages were deleted by the moderator. Oh, Heather, I'm so sorry. My, mo my moderator, my bot thing's insane. The amount of dog hating people I get with my German Shepherd Husky Cross is stupid. Oh, is it because it's a big? Is he a big dog? Are people like? Are people scared of him? Or your friend has four Chihuahuas and they all stand up like meerkats when they want attention. How are they as as um dogs? Are they quite um, are they quite loud and bitey? I always get that impression with Chihuahuas. Well, the ones I've met anyway. Have you seen the first episode of RuPaul's Drag Race season fifteen? Yeah, I have. It was good. First two. See, for me, I have a German Shepherd and people judge her for her size. It's so, that's not fair, is it? I think because a lot of people obviously they have smaller dogs now because people probably live in like apartments and don't really do much. <laughs> so they probably want a smaller dog. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Honestly, no, they're so chilled out. One is called Mushu and has goofy teeth and smile. That's cute. Question, I like Disney, but I'm not a super fan. Would I still like Dreamlight? I do love games and Animal Crossing, so I feel like I loved... Hmm. If I feel like if this was any other game and it didn't involve Disney characters and, like, Disney clothing and merchandise and things like that, I wouldn't be as interested. Some people... Someone said earlier, sorry, that the, some of the tasks do get a bit tedious and a bit um i don't know like long-winded and i i think i would give up if it wasn't for like the like familiar disney surroundings you know and, and things like that it's free soon when is it free february so maybe see what you think but somebody who like you know collects disney stuff i'm gonna play this just so i can have all the disney clothes <laughs> Oh, where am I? 
Oh, I'm missing all your stuff. Um, I love all dogs. They're just too cute. Yeah, exactly. It's a nightmare, even though it's the dogs that yap. Oh, oh my. Hey, Hans. Yeah, some nerds on camera, I think. <laughs> anyway, ignore me back to Robert and his PlayStation 1 game. Marcus, this is Disney Dreamlight Valley, actually, I think. I think you should be aware of. Good to... Yeah, yeah. Get it when it's free. Because it's very... If you liked Animal Crossing, there's, like, stuff you can do within that, like, build... Like, buildings and stuff like that. And collecting stuff to, to build stuff. But in terms of the actual, like, the quests themselves, some stuff happens. I don't even know what, what's going on. I have to go to... Uh, Robert, do you think you'll play the Disney racing game when that comes out? Yes. I have to go to sleep now, but I often go to sleep and listen to your videos. Anyway, so I'm going to leave you on the, on the background. Oh, thank you so much. See you soon. Yeah, Mark, stop insulting our game. UK people, the dog house is on tonight, and I love that show. Oh, it's so cute. I can't watch it, though, because um, Winnie and Frankie can't see dogs on TV because they go crazy. <laughs> we'll get a trainer on that. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't see this Disney racing game. What is it, like a um, Mario Kart, but with all Disney people? Oh, I'm not even... Hello? Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Just burped. That was disgusting. Sorry. I'm just so relaxed with everyone. <laughs> I like purple, purple hair. Thank you. Yeah, I wanted to do, I wanted to have some fun hair. I'm obsessed with Mario Kart, so I would love a Disney racing game. Yeah, that'd be really cool. It's Disney Speedstorm. It's Disney Speedstorm. It's supposed to release. Oh, nice. Who's this? Hey, Winnie. Yeah, I'll definitely be looking at that. That sounds good. I went to buy Nintendo 64, but they're like $200. How much were they when they came out? That sounds like how much they would have been back then, right? Were they that much? I don't even know. Actually, I'm running out of things to clean. Oh, it's meant to be free at release. That's good. Oh, they were five hundred dollars. They were five hundred dollars. Jeez, back then that's expensive, right? I don't know about Mario Kart and Gold and I were my Gold and I was the best game with their square heads. I wonder if you can get that on PC now. <laughs> I don't think that's a thing, right? I'm more into story-based or adventure games. Yeah, horror games I prefer to just... Yeah, same. Has anyone ever played... Is it called The Lake or Lake? Where you just go around delivering post? Still have our Nintendo 64 Golden Eye. Oh, Marcus, we need to figure out how to... We can just plug it in the TV, right? Who else tried bruising, brushing their hair with a fork after watching Little Mermaid? I probably did. <laughs> Dora 7 scared me too much. Huh? I would only watch it. Why did it scare you? My brother and I battled using slappers only because it was hilarious. I don't know why I'm wearing these around my neck. The only game console I had was Super Nintendo. We had, I think we had Super Nintendo and 64. Hi everyone, and the Wii when it first came out, and that um, board that called you fat, whatever it's called, Wii Fit. Hi everyone, just joined. Dink Hammer, hey, how are you? Good to see you again. You should play Until Dawn. Love that game, really awesome. Oh, yeah, I'll probably still work on Dad's 1990s TV. Hey, Goofy, look at you and your trousers and your choice of shoe. Um, I kept all my old things. I have a Nintendo 64 still with a 007. I also have my Sega Genesis with the... With all the Sonic games and my GameCube, the suspense. <laughs> oh, the suspense. Yeah, now I get it. Well, Until Dawn is fantastic. Oh my god, absolutely. Until Dawn. Oh, I have to look into what this is. I used to be scared of Bowser from Super Mario. Mm -hmm. Bored. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you stood on it. I was like, you're overweight. And also, your mum hasn't been on for a few months. The noise that we Fit made every time you stepped in it. Oh, yeah. And it was like measuring. It's like, I know what you're doing. 
Marcus, oh, Marcus, let me ask you something. Um, we had, what was that computer we had? It was called, was it an Amiga? What was that Quavers game called? And what was that Blue Blob game called? <gasps> Look at all these. It was a blue thing and it used to like jump up. Wait, where's the other one? Do I not get a chest? It used to like jump up on boards. I used to love to say, Sega so mad our family didn't keep all our consoles. I still have a Nintendo 64 and two Game Boys. Ah, oh, I wish I kept my original Game Boy. Game Boy Color. Do you remember when the Game Boy had like, not black and white, but it didn't have a color screen? And it didn't light up from the back. I used to have one of the lights that you plugged into the side. So you could play it at like night time. <laughs> Putty was the blob. Commodore 64. Oh, and the Quavers game was called. It was called HMM. What? Oh, oh, are you looking up? With a switch. Pushover. Yes, with Anne. That was it. With a Switch online subscription, you can play a load of old Nintendo 64 games. No, I still could have been playing. That. Oh, amazing. As well have a Game Boy Color with Pokemon, very, oh my god, that's so cute. You know what, after playing playing the new Pokemon, I, I prefer the old style overhead looking down on the map, you know? I heard it came on Game Boy Color was Little Mermaid 2. I never bought that, unfortunately. Probably because you had to physically go and buy it and I just wouldn't do that. <laughs> I would now, though. I have a pink Game Boy Color and a silver Game Boy Advance. Cute. Team Family didn't have any consoles. Oh, Yeah, I had one of those too. I love that little lamp. It, and it was like a little curly bit and it stuck. I remember I bought it from like a catalogue. Aladdin and Lion King were great on Super Nintendo games. You can buy those on Switch, the original ones. Not Switch. Yeah, Switch. As I was doing, it was calling me. It was nice catching up with your live. Have a great evening. You too, Zumba Freak. Thank you. Wario, Wario, we knew what you meant. <laughs> I love a PlayStation Scooby-Doo, but sometimes it's scary. Oh, there's a Scooby-Doo on PlayStation? They need to make like a really good Scooby-Doo game. Now, I would buy that. I still have Pokemon games too. Aww. Yeah, it's worth it. They have new games come on quite often. What is that? Switch? I think I have that, you know? Switch online subscription, excuse me. Oh my god. Oh, my dog just farted. That's really cute. <laughs> Anyone play Lion King on Sega? No, I don't think we had Sega. What was that like? Was it just like a platform one where you just run across and like jump and stuff like that? Do you, does anyone remember Donkey Kong? What game was it? Donkey Kong and the music. What was that on the 64? Or was it Super Nintendo? I love the music from that game and I can't remember what it's um what it's called. Marcus, you remember we had it. Whoops. Hi Rob, hope you well. You too, Abby. How are you? Yeah, collect bugs and jump over things, run through different scenes from a movie. Yeah. I'm going to put some of these gems away. I keep those. I learned my lesson from last time selling them all when you need them. Donkey Kong Country, that was it. Yes. That was so good. You have a SNES Donkey Kong Country and two. The music was by David Wise. Best soundtrack ever. It was so good. Oh, I, I probably need that Dreamlight stuff. Oh, okay. We'll come back. Childhood games will always be the best they will. Love Donkey Kong Country. It's so good. Maybe I thought it was Super Nintendo, but it was Sega. Hello, Marcus. It's good. Uh, it's good, but not the best Super Mario game. They all kind of follow the same premise, though. I feel like Marcus's job is just to remember anything you and James can't. Oh, his mind it can, I think, stores more than ours. <laughs> Look at Marcus flat out on Google. You would think that Marcus is the kind of person who would know that knowledge from looking it up five years ago. <laughs> he retains a lot of information. We played a bug's life and the bird part was absolutely terrifying. What was that on, Fiona? For me, Zelda games have the best soundtrack. The, the original Zelda. Was that the original Zelda? The one that was used to be on Nintendo something? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> like a, calling everyone on. <laughs> PlayStation. Oh. I remember getting our PlayStation. I was like, you know, N Nintendo family and getting a PlayStation. It was great. Robert, you and James should play It Takes Two. That'd be hilarious. What's It Takes Two? Is that like a game game? We had Link to the Pass on SNES, Robert. Yeah, that was it. That's what I'm thinking of. What's what's it takes two? Someone tell me. I'm so glad I turned uh, Twitch notifications on. Ah, <laughs> totally forgot you stream. I do sometimes. I'm trying to uh, do it more this week. So thank you for being here. I'd have to see Marcus, uh, Marcus play It Takes Two. He'd hate the stupid book. What's It Takes Two? Why is there a stupid book in It Takes Two? <laughs> It really, oh. Goofy, chill out, God. I want to throw hands for that book. It's a game you need to play with someone else. You need to work together. Oh, is that with the mum and the dad? Is that like the divorce game? You should play Don't Starve together. What's Don't Starve? All three of you will be a giggle pain plated up. It's a game where you're working in a kitchen and have to work together making food, cleaning up and serving customers. I think we could do that. We have business minds. I have to go, bye lovely people. Go, bye. Oh my words got mixed up then. Was it my favorite until I played Breath of the Wild? Was that the one on Switch? The divorce game, yeah, where the parents turn to like toys. I know what you mean. I um, I think I've seen that book. I think he is annoying, right? Is that the is that the book that's like a really big like flirty book? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> An elephant scene. The elephant scene is traumatizing. What happens? Does an elephant die? There's a Mickey Cloud. Winnie, calm down, baby. Breath of the wild is my favorite is my favorite but the map is just so huge when games have a big map like that like i was saying the other the other day the new pokemon game violet I'm, i have i just can't i can't get to grips with it because one city is like bigger than this and i'm trying to find my way around and i don't know where i'm going you know <laughs> is there any way to watch traitors in the us i desperately want to watch it somebody over on twitter said you could and i think they obviously like got like a VPN or something. They torture an elephant. That's not fucking nice. Hey, is it Misha or Mika? I'm not sure, not much of a gamer, but I love Rollercoaster Tycoon and a random game where you spent the whole time placing couches about the place. What is that? Roller to Rollercoaster Tycoon was great, but it's one of those games where you kind of give up and then just start killing people again. Like The Sims. It's like, I've had this family now for two hours, bored of it, everyone dead. The Traitor's US version starts tomorrow, yes. Nat's got Brandy, is it Glanville? Is that her name? She's going to be in that, isn't she? She's just going to be great in that. Just because she's great TV, isn't she? She's unlikable and also likable. Ah, <laughs> uh, not nice. I should start doing some quests so we can actually get down to the beach, shouldn't I? Not today, another day. Should I do something? Should I do a little, just a, a little one and we can just take our time doing it? I've been streaming for an hour. I don't know how I feel about Claudia not presenting it. She does suit it well. Lots of people call me Cakes. I'm not good at describing how it's pronounced. Okay, cool. I'll just call you that if that's okay with you. Oh, let's see what's in the shop today. Oh, ma'am. 
<gasps> Look at this bag. Oh, that's so cute. Mm. That lamp's cool. Oh, look at this plant. Oh, I need that. Mm, yeah, let's get it. Yeah. Oh, and look at jug with water. This lamp is cute. That's like very Mickey Mouse's house. Let's buy it. <laughs> what game is this? This is Disney's Dreamer Light Valley. The sound and music in breath of the when when did <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we can't go upstairs yet. I keep forgetting. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? Oh, Monsters University. This chair looks nice. What's so special about this card again? Nothing. Not a good. Not a good lot today. Let's do one little quest. There you are, now that my shop is up and running, it's time to do, what you say? Well, to jumpstart the village economy, of course. Ow. Even if it means having to light a wee fire under Goofy to get him moving. That's not nice. See yourself, make money by doing all the work on your own, if that's the way you want it. Sell gems at Goofy's store. Oh. Okay. I don't like selling gems. I just feel like they're too important. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they always, they always come in handy for something. Oh. <laughs> oh, God, I hit enter instead of back. And then <laughs> Slow Road yelled at me. Oh, sorry. The, sound and the sounds and music in Breath of the Wild are lovely, is what I meant to say. We knew what you were saying. Nice chill single player game you might dig is unpacking. I keep seeing that. The whole mechanic is that you are unpacking your belongings as you move into different homes in different times of your life. And you're learning about how the protagonist's life changes over the years. It's lovely and you can get strangely emotional. That's cute. Don't worry about selling gems. You get loads. I know. I know. I'm just at this point on my... Because I, I have it on my Switch as well. I'm like at this point where... I've collected these gems for a specific thing I wanted to build and like they're all gone because I have to keep selling uh, selling them or using them to build something. Marx is here, my phone is acting up now. <laughs> I like to listen to shri the shrine theme when I'm working. We continue with your house in The Sims. Yes, on weekends, on Saturdays, because I feel like um, I was always streaming The Sims on Saturday. So I want the people who could join those lives to be there when it was happening, you know what I mean? Um, oh, I need to sell seven. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, so I didn't want to do it, like, during the week. I've been coming on at, like, two o'clock in the afternoon, you know? And it's, like, not exactly time everyone's, like, hanging out. So I thought I'll wait for for a weekend. So sat Saturday? I say that now. We'll see what happens Saturday. Yeah, did anyone, did I say, I, I said this already, but has anyone played Lake or The Lake? I can't remember what it's called, on PC or on something where you just deliver posts. Has anyone played that? That is like, if you just want a game that's like really relaxing, you don't really have to do much. There's no pressure. It's a really cute game. You like, you're, I think you're like from, from the city and then you go to back to your hometown and you, to help deliver posts. <laughs> And you drive around. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. You drive a post thing around. And you know what? There's You get a radio station on it. And it's like royalty-free music. And there's like five songs on it. But it's a really good soundtrack. And I don't mind the rep repetition of the five, the five songs. And it's quite, you know, you get a few choices in it. It's a, it's a really nice game. I would play it again. Maybe I'll play it on here. Maybe that can wait till like... It's, it's a very October, August... No, September, October kind of game. You know what I mean? I'd much, rather, I'd, much, I'd much rather stay at home and watch a stream on a Saturday than go out clubbing. Me too. I just like to ignore that place. It's like clubs exist. <laughs> I listen to Zelda lo-fi when I'm working a lot. Oh, that's nice. Two, three, four, five, six, five, six. I need three more. I know I have some in my thing. Oh, look, right over there. 
what's the next horror game you're thinking of playing? So I could go back and try and get a better ending for um, Fears, what's it called? Fears to Fathom. Fears to Fathom, is that what it's called? Um, or we can try something new. Part of me wants to go back and see if we can get a better ending. Because uh, some people at the end of it were gave, gave me like some good tips. They were like, yo, you need to hide in this particular place. So, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Um, so that was good. So I might do that. Or, I don't know, what's your recommendations? I do like the Chiller's art games, but um, I, I've i watched them all. Like, I, I watched those a few times, actually. Side note, I just found your Twitch by accident. I love you on YouTube. You playing Dreamlight Valley made my day. Thank you so much. And thanks for being here. Yeah, I want to see a different ending. Yeah, I think I do too. At 36, when my younger co-worker friends want to go out to the bar, I always cringe because they don't even want to meet up until nine or 10. Oh, and I just want to be in bed. Can you imagine clubbing? My bedtime is half nine. No way am I going out later than that. I sometimes get invited to events and it's like, start time, eight o'clock. I'm like, start at eight o'clock. <laughs> no. Start at five, let me leave at six, you know? Can you play Closing Shift? Yes. What is that one? Because I think I've watched it a few times. Can you... Uh, I don't know anything about it, but the Mortuary Assistant was big recently. I think, yeah, that terrifies me. But I could play that, definitely. I'm going to a bachelorette party in a few weeks, and I'm dreading it because it'll be a late night. Oh, no. You need to fall over. Or you need to, like... Wait until one of your friends is coming and then lay at, at the bottom of a staircase and be like, oh, I've fallen over and hit my head. I think I'm just going to go home and lay down. <laughs> when I lived in Spain, one of the hardest things I found was that clubs opened at 1 a.m. or midnight. Opened? Ugh. As a 21-year-old, I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Robert. Have you ever played Slime Rancher? It's really cute and fun. No, I haven't. Sounds cute. I'm 24 and thought clubbing gives me the ick. Yeah, same. You're not missing anything. Overpriced drinks, too hot. Music's too loud. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a game where you work in a coffee shop and you serve people and someone stalks you. Yes, yes. And it gets a little bit weird, right? What, in my head, there's a big clock outside the window. A, a big digital clock. Is that right? Closing shift is nice and slow burn. I dig it. Observation Jew is pretty spooky memory game. Yeah, Observation Jew is good. I only want to stay up late on Dungeons & Dragons nights. I get so hyped and just want to stay up all night. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm still a climbing girl, although capacity, ooh, capacity to recover from hangovers is now non-existent. Yeah, that's the thing. And it's like, even if I don't go out, I can have a drink, like a nice drink, you know, with dinner. And the next day I'm like, oh my God. I'm dying. I probably didn't know anything else. I love observations in duty. Yeah, that was so. In my mornings, I get up and I'll turn on the TV in um, our kitchen and I'll watch like someone play horror games. And observation duty for a long time was one that I would like watch every morning. Someone play it every morning. By Robert and everyone enjoying the Sims Disney special that uh, enjoying Sims Disney special value on Game Boy Advance. Oh, Marcus, I was like, why can I not understand what this person's saying? And then I saw it was you. <laughs> yes, there is. And it gets weird because the sword comes to your work and just stands outside the window. <laughs> so I love spending my nights gaming or slapping makeup on my face. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Bye, Marcus. <laughs> It was his birthday yesterday. Whoops. Oh. I want to do that. I don't know how much money I have. Oh my god, Capricorn King. Marcus, are you Capricorn? Wait, are you even still here? I was like, that's probably right, but I never really thought. <laughs> I 
Should we do some fishing? I haven't done fishing in a while because I hate it so much. How do you do this again? Oh, yeah. No, see? I can't do it. Honestly, this is like the dodgiest fishing like way to fish. I hate it. You know what? No. <laughs> Robert, what's your opinion on people who heat up eyelash curlers to curl their lashes? I'm too scared to try it, but I've heard... Okay, so here, here's how I feel about that. Let me put this remote down, because to me it's quite an important subject. With heated eyelash curlers, you have the protection there that it's not going to burn your eyelids or your eyes. There's like certain... It's, they're built a certain way, you know what I mean? There's almost like a stopper, so it doesn't... um burn burn your eyelid the most sensitive part of your face maybe apart from your lips is your eyelid so when you're heating up a metal eyelash curler it's potentially very very dangerous you can get some incredible heated eyelash curlers that heat to just the right temperature that have that protection in place so you're not damaging the skin around your eye or potentially damaging your lashes um you, and you can get really good ones i've been using one that was like me and james we we got it for a video that was like testing beauty products from wish and it was a pound or a dollar, and it was it was amazing, and I kept using it. But the batteries have run out. But it was it was really really good, and it wasn't too hot. I don't like heat in general, and it wasn't too hot. It wasn't like anything crazy. Heating up your lash curler and being unable to control how hot that lash curler gets is is very dangerous, in my opinion. That tastes so vile. There's a lot of... This is my issue, right, with TikTok. You know, has anyone seen... I don't know whether... I've come to Lurk. Hey, Blinkette, before I go... Uh, but before I go into Lurk, I thought I'd say quick hello to everyone. Thank you for being here again. It's good to see you. I've had luck with just warming my lash colour against my skin a little bit. It's not anything dramatic, but it's also not going to burn me exactly. So I don't know if anyone else has seen it in the UK, and I don't know if it's the same around the world, but I've seen adverts for TikTok on um, the TV. Just like a normal advertisement. And um, they're advertising themselves as like an advice thing. So the advert is people like, I think they move into a house and they're decorating their house. And they're searching on TikTok how to measure thing, how to do this, like advice on how to like put their house together, basically. And I just feel like some of the advice on TikTok is like really shouldn't be listened to. There's like people, random people giving like nutrition advice that's actually potentially harmful. There's people giving health and fitness advice that's harmful. Like make bad makeup advice is like one thing, but it's not that deep, you know? But when it comes to, like, people just... Because anyone can upload whatever they want. Like, don't listen to it. When people are like, yeah, I saw this hack on TikTok. I'm like, don't talk to me. Like, I'm building a house and I saw this on TikTok. Your house is going to fall down. So, it's a strange one. <laughs> Yeah, it always worries me a little bit. And I was, I, I don't know if any of you have seen my um, reaction video to Jennifer Lopez's makeup routine that she did for Vogue. And in one part of it, she's like, so I saw this hack on TikTok and I like rolled my eyes because I was like, oh my God, what's she going to do? But it was actually, it was actually quite nice. It was just putting on lip liner in a certain way. But when, so, as soon as someone's like, I saw this on TikTok, I'm like, oh no. But equally, TikTok is addictive, you know? <laughs> I just watched TikTok from a literal doctor advocating for people who use diabetes drug to lose weight. And this is a thing as well. Did you see there was that um, plastic surgeon who got her license taken away because she was streaming her procedures live and just chatting to the camera? Like, imagine having cosmetic surgery, liposuction, something like that, sleeping under what's it called local no general anis general or local anesthetic i'm thinking oh my doctor's about to go live and not pay attention fully to me and answer questions on a tiktok live 
Like, come on. Like, it's it's made people ridiculous or brought out the most ridiculousness in people. And you know what it is with TikTok, right? I feel like some people, some people love the idea of fame or being an influencer or being something like that. So you uh, you can go on TikTok live and it's not just your followers who are going to follow you. Anyone can find your live. Everyone starts asking questions. You get a lot of attention for not really being anyone who does anything to get attention in the first place. You know what I mean? And I think that can become addictive for people. Like sometimes I'm on TikTok live and I just see somebody just sitting in a living room on a Tuesday night. You know, sometimes you scroll through TikTok and it just comes up with a random live sometimes. And they're answering, they're like, thank you so much. Thanks for, if it, it's like, mm. I know it can be like a little bit ad- addictive. Well, some people find it addictive. What am I doing? To have that kind of like attention, but it's, and I think when you don't have a purpose to it as well, like at least like on my lives, I'm answering makeup questions. I'm helping people with their makeup. If you're just sitting there, and it, it's almost like that a few minutes off, of slight celebrity, you know? (laughs) And you can, I mean, you can get followers easy on on that app. Like the the way you can get, this is why when people reach a million on TikTok, I'm like, okay, so like the equivalent to 10,000 on YouTube. Because it's so easy to to reach a certain amount. If I try, if I actually upload it all the time and actually paid attention to it, I'm sure that I could reach a good amount of followers. And I think it's making people feel like they are like influencers and instant influencers. And then they start saying dumb shit all the time. You know what I mean? Christ, that's awful. I haven't ever downloaded it because I think it's just another app I get addicted to. Yeah, I would always love YouTube over TikTok. I'm here for 30 minute videos. I've noticed people starting to get really greedy, complaining that they aren't high enough in the rankings and shaming their followers for not giving them bigger gifts. 100% that all the time. Like, you're just sitting here watching me. I'm doing this. I'm I'm here live for you. No, you're not. If you're complaining that people aren't giving you enough gifts, then you're not here live just for them. You're there live to get money. Go on YouTube. <laughs> do uh, make some content and actually get paid for it. I think the payment on TikTok as well is really unfair. I think they must rely a lot also on sponsorships. Um, because I heard the pay isn't great on YouTube. Like hardly anything. It's like the foundation hack where they put in a water and apply it to their skin. Like what's it all about? Nothing. I still don't understand what it's about me either. I feel like every day I see people on Twitter, Instagram announcing that they've hit one to two million on TikTok. And it's like, ma'am, you have 50k on here. What's going on over on TikTok? So, so the actual, so the equivalent of, like I said earlier, like a million, the equivalent of like a million TikTok subscribers is like 10,000 YouTube subscribers. (laughs) It's not, it's not in terms of value and in terms of what it brings. If you think about people watching, who watch you on YouTube, right? When on when I'm on YouTube, the people that I watch, I hunt down their videos. I like to see their videos in my um feed. I I I look forward to their content. The people that I follow on TikTok who I can't even remember if I follow them or not, I watch them while I'm on the toilet <laughs> or scrolling through going to bed and I spend a few seconds with them and that's it. So the value of what they're giving me isn't that much in terms of like my relationship with them or my need to see their content or my want to see their content, you know? But only there for themselves, very ungrateful people in TikTok. It's wild. I'm always embarrassed to see when they say, I'm in my flop era. What does that mean? I just couldn't for some reason. My sister isn't much of a social media girl. So imagine my horror when she spoke about a TikTok somebody has shown her of a spoon hack to help her with it. Oh, with eye makeup. Oh, I had to, <laughs> I had to have a lie down. I feel like every platform has some bad advice, but it's easy to find on TikTok. Yeah, for me personally, streaming is a hobby, like sitting on the couch and playing games with friends. But I see other streamers get angry because they're not getting views. Yeah, literally angry, like getting viewers. Something that owed, it's wild. Literally the diamond thing. Yeah, here's the thing. Imagine if I went, uh, I was on YouTube, right? And my content wasn't performing very well. And I blamed everyone who subscribed to me because it wasn't doing well. That is, isn't my audience's fault. That is me 
a sign to me, well, I would take it as a sign that I need to change things up or I need to explore something different or ask, ask what my audience wants to see. When people are like, people blame their subscribers. You're not owed subscribers. Just as like people who watch, you know, aren't owed content. Although like, why would you be uploading content if you don't want to give it to people? Um, <laughs> oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, I just, I just find it really strange, really strange. Um, I feel, uh, I want to go back to Gina. Yeah, I feel like every platform has some bad advice, but it's easier, for, but easier to find on TikTok. A hundred percent, you're a hundred percent right. YouTube, you have to be looking for something specific. But on TikTok, I know everyone says the algorithm is really clever, but the stuff I come across just doesn't make sense. And I come across really bad advice. Um, it, like you said, can really easily. Like it's, it's just there right in front of you. <laughs> And TikTok like to, you know, send push things out that maybe you wouldn't um, have seen before, you know? Uh... That's peak angry Twitch streamer mentality. At the end of the day, nobody on this planet is entitled to anything, no matter how famous they are. 100% Jay, absolutely. I never tried it and I'm glad that I didn't. I want to try the trick Marilyn Monroe lets you use shadow or liner bottom to create a fake shadow of her top lashes. Anyone seen it? Yeah. So they used to, they used to do a really faint line right here um, to look like it made of, it makes your lash line appear heavier. So it gives you more of a, a tired look, basically. Streamers see the success of people like uh, Jack, Septic Eye, and Markiplier. Oh, and I think it's so e and think it's so easy, but they don't understand it took them ten years to build their following. One hundred percent. It's wild. It's it's crazy. Some people. I. This is why I'm so happy that I became an influencer in my 30s, as much as I hate the term influencer, but it's what I do, in, in my 30s. Because I think if I had started when I was, imagine being 18, 19, 20, and have all these people sending you really nice messages, really supporting you. I think, I think it could come across, people can take it too far and take it as like too much praise and um, be really arrogant about it. Where it's a two way street, like you wouldn't be in that position if it wasn't for people watching your content and consuming your content. People can take away your, you know, your fame in quotes just as quick as they gave it to you. You didn't give it to yourself. Exactly, just a few swipes and videos are so quick on TikTok, exactly that. I cannot imagine the way they must break your brain. <laughs> exactly, I see people like, I want to be like Pew Pew PewDiePie, but he has been on YouTube for like 13 years, all of this. and. For every big streamer, there's luck and a ton of hard work along with talent charisma. Yeah, I've never had TikTok, but my friend still texts me TikTok videos all day long. People can be really arrogant, but that also means they are totally crushed with a 0.5 seconds of TikTok fame, yeah. Yeah, I think it can be very... And the things people are doing now to have, like, a viral thing on TikTok, because you need something to go viral to, you know, to blow up on TikTok. What was I watching the other day? People were doing really stupid things, like punching their teachers. That was a, a trend I saw. And stealing stuff from their schools. It was so weird. It's better to it's better ugh, it's better to grow as a person first because then you don't become egotistical. Yeah, when um people are always sending you compliments, unlike some influencers. A hundred percent. Absolutely. I cause it's you know what, especially when like people um obviously first became influencers, it's not really like it didn't exist before so they they i feel that like they they must have felt some kind of special that you know they it was happening to them you know <laughs> bring back planking <laughs> <No>. <laughs> tons of car fest in my area because of tiktok trend apparently nothing like harming other people out yeah people were damaging people's cars taking out important things in people's cars so my first um comment I sent before I was finished. That's okay. It always says like hold A and it just, it, it really doesn't do anything. I think you have to be standing in the right place. What's the time? I cannot believe it's, oh, it's nearly six. Oh, it's nearly half five. 
This day's gone so fast. Oh, are you okay, baby? I was supposed to say, it's better to grow as a person first because then you don't become ego egotistical. Uh, when people are always sending you compliments, unlike some influencers, you influence us in a good way. Oh, thank you. I can name a couple of young influencers that have let fame go to their heads and are currently being cancelled. It's so stupid. Just because you can do graphic liner doesn't make you better than anyone. <laughs> yeah, these young kids don't understand the importance of longevity and people only want to work with you if you are pleasant, 100%. I think some really good examples of someone who stayed really down to earth no matter how many views or subscribers they have, are people like Raw Beauty, Christy, and Sophie. Yeah, I didn't know you were on Twitch. Isn't this the makeup YouTuber? It is. Hi, how are you? Yeah, Raw Beauty, Christy. I, I love her content. I watch her whatever she does, and she's changed it up a little bit recently, and I really like it. I really like what she's doing. Sophie is, is so nice. I, I see her a lot in real life because we are on the same um, management. Her managers are my man. Well, not the same person, but the same company. So I see her a lot of, a lot of events. She's so kind, so nice. I have to take my dog Gus out to party. I remember Gus from my Polaroids. Yes, I do. Oh, thanks. See everyone later. Oh, I'll see you soon. Say hi to Gus. Oh my God, I love your content. I love you. And I love you, Mike Valley. Thank you so much. Nico, is it Nico? Absolutely off subject. Have you ever done jury service? I'm doing it on Monday and I don't know how to be terrified or excited. I, I have never done it, but when it comes to it, I think I'll be excited to do it. I know it sounds really boring, but I would like to. <laughs> when TikTok finally dies out and a lot of them are um, on there, it won't be relevant anymore, in my opinion. It's really difficult. I feel like it's really difficult to go from one platform to another. Going from YouTube, <clears throat> excuse me, onto somewhere like TikTok is really hard because we have however long we want our information to be on YouTube. And then we have to go to TikTok and we have three minutes maximum to talk about something. And it's like, I can't do it in this amount of time. And vice versa, somebody who started out on TikTok has to be enjoyable to watch for 20 minutes maximum or 10 minutes minimum, you know? So I think there's been some TikTokers that have tried to go onto YouTube and it just hasn't worked for them. And same the other way around. I did see, I saw a really interesting TikTok and it was like, it was a, tr oh, I, I hate fishing, I'm not going to bother. Um, they, they were predicting, this trend specialist was predicting that um, people are going to get bored of, like, end mindless scrolling, they called it. So maybe YouTube, um, TikTok will give us longer videos, I don't know. Um, this is a random question, but do you still take clients such as for weddings? Might be asking for a friend. I'm actually doing a wedding this year, but this year is very busy for me in terms of work. So I, I don't, I don't take weddings anymore because it's such an important event. So I could be offered a job now for next week. Do you know what I mean? And the money is obviously going to be better than a wedding. And I, I don't want to obviously miss out on a good job and building a relationship with a brand. And then also, I don't wanna, I don't want to say to someone, oh, I can't do your wedding, and it'd be next week. I would never do that, of course. That would be horrendous. So I don't I don't want to disappoint anyone. So I very rarely do weddings now. Especially because it's like an early morning thing. It's it could be like an all-day thing. Yeah. I finally got called for jury duty, and it was really looking forward to it until I realized I'm using three days of income. You don't get paid from your work? I thought legally they had to pay you because you're you're doing a service um for your government. Government? I don't know what I'm saying. Um you're allowed to take pretty much anything to keep you occupied by dad took his switch and books and things like that. Oh that's cool. Some people even sat and did crochet. You need a personality for YouTube, not just copying people. True. I have to go now too. Oh, I'm off to work. I'll, uh, have a good rest of the stream. Bye, everyone. See you soon, Erin. Oh my god, can you take a switch? I'll definitely be taking that. Thank you. I was going to take tons of books. In the UK, they pay you for loss of earnings. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
I'm in Texas and they want to ban TikTok, but that seems extreme. Well, did I hear right that um, anyone who works for the American government isn't allowed TikTok on their phones, I believe? Is that a new rule? Do you still do makeup for fashion shoots or runway shows? No, I haven't. I haven't done um, fashion or fashion week since I moved back to America. So when, after I, when I left London, I moved back to London and then I moved to Australia. And um, so when I was in London, I was doing like my normal makeup work, all that kind of stuff. If I, and that could be freelancing, it could be shoots, it could be whatever, whatever I could do basically. And also like mixing that with uh, makeup retail. Um, Cause I, rent in London is insane. <laughs> and um, so then, so what happened? I went to Australia, worked for the brand Mina which was incredible. I always remember that. I lived in Melbourne, but you know, I flew to Sydney a few times and I spoke to all the beauty editors from like Vogue and Mary Claire and all these other places about the brand, the makeup, all that kind of stuff. And I wanted to kind of like stay out there, but then I just, me and my fiance, we just really didn't like it. Not, we didn't like Australia, but we didn't like being so far away from home. When we woke up, everyone was in bed. When we went to bed, everyone was waking up. It was just, it was, it wasn't great. And then I moved back and then maybe I, sh I should probably make a video about this, um, this place I worked because it was hell on earth. I moved back and I was like, I don't want to rely on myself anymore to do freelance work. I, I don't want to move back to, I didn't want to move back to London. And I was like, well, that's going to be really difficult to do any kind of makeup work when I'm living, you know, out in the country. Like who's going to need their makeup done every day of the week, every weekend, what connections am I going to make in terms of the industry in, you know, out in the country? So I was like, let me do, let me just work in like a salon, you know, like does, does a salon anywhere need a makeup artist or is there anywhere that's just hiring makeup artists? And then I found this place with an amazing opportunity and it went really, really wrong. And I think I'll make, um, I think I'm going to make a video about it because it was like a story time video just as an extra video because it was the, it was the most bizarre thing place I've ever worked. It was really strange. Um, a bit random, but do you ever think you'll appear on BBC Glove as a guest judge? I don't think so. I would like to. I used to work with Dominic. Dominic Skinner years and years and years and years ago. Um, I absolutely love YouTube channel and my husband loves watching yours and your brother's joint channel. Thank you. He's not particularly into skincare or makeup, but I think that speaks how enjoyable you are. Thank you so much. Yeah, if a phone is paid or provided by the government, you can't have TikTok. That kind of makes sense for them to be able to tell you what, what you can have on it, I guess. Especially if it's, a, if it's a work phone. It's my personal phone and I don't work for the government uh, for sure. I'm in the UK too, but it's an American company, so that's why. Mm. Oh my god, I didn't know you had Twitch. Love your YouTube videos. You've taught me so much. Thank you. Mythicat, Mythicat. That's a cute name. Thank you so much. Oh my god, please do a video on this. I will, I will. I love hearing your, about your experiences and funny stories. Um, Yeah, please make a video about it. We'd love to hear more. I will, yeah, I will. I need to make it entertaining though because it was just me being miserable for ages. I worked with, some of the people I w worked with there were the best people. We had like the best time, but then, uh, the, oh God. The person who owned this place was just horrendous, awful. I've never met anyone like it in my life. So terrible and so rude to, not me, but everyone else. She was just unbearable when she was there. <laughs> Remind me again, what does it mean when someone has a crown next to their name? I could listen to your stories all day, Robert. Thank you, Jay. That, so that, I'll, t I'll tell you a quick thing about that, that job, right? It got to a day where I quit. I, I physically walked out. Because, bear in mind, I went there to be, it means Prime Gaming. Amazon Prime. <laughs> oh, is that actually what it means? Prime Gaming. What does that mean? Is that like that you pay monthly for or something? Um, so this place I worked, right, this salon, I w the agreement was, there's a lot in between, so it's not really uh, spoiling anything. The agreement was 
I was going to go there. It was an already established salon in the area with three salons, kind of like about maybe 30 minutes away from each other each way with a really good clientele. And the owner wanted to set up like a makeup service there as well. And it was going to be my job then to hire the makeup artist, uh, train them up a little bit if they needed training. And I love makeup education. I love teaching. So that was a great opportunity for me, but also have some of my own clients myself. But while I was there, all I was doing was advertising. And I've never worked in advertising. I was photoshopping signs. I made new signage for them that was then made into their new signs. I was doing adverts. I, if you go into one of the salons, probably not now, the, the, the image for the makeup service was all my makeup and it wasn't one of the salons I was doing makeup in. And then the day I quit, I had access to all their social media. The day I quit, I was driving home. I was so angry. I was shaking. I was that angry. I pulled over because I was like, I have to pull over because I can't drive like this. I got up their Instagram and deleted all my content off their Instagram. I was like, you're not having this because nobody there can do it. <laughs> I was so angry. <laughs> was it a strip club job? No, that was another thing. Oh, that was awful. When you use Amazon Prime Gaming to sub Sun Channel, oh cool. We link to Amazon Prime, we get free sub every month and sometimes in-game de deals, that's cool. My husband came in the office and asked me why I was cheating on my normal Twitch stream as I'm watching someone else. He doesn't know if you're okay, then everyone else doesn't matter. Ah, Sorry, sorry, Marie. Please refrain from using so many symbols. So Marie, sorry. Sorry about the one second ban. <laughs> I, I need to fix that. Ah! But yeah, that was that, that was that place. It wasn't good. The strip club was was fine, but oh my god, they they argued a lot with the manager. She was called a house mother. And oh my god, the arguments they would they would do and oh and the hair I gave that poor girl. <laughs> All right, I might finish up here, everyone. Ooh. Oh, did that plant just attack you? Something happened. I don't know what just went on. What's the time? Oh, I need to feed my dogs. Feed myself. My face hurts. Oh. Ooh. It's been really fun chatting with you all. I love sitting here and just, just chatting. All my streams can be just chatting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you all so much. Thank you. My transitions, let me tell you, when, when I started doing Twitch, the first thing I thought I needed to sort out was like, I need my transitions. I need, I, <laughs> I had to get all the visuals up before I did anything technical. Well, thank you all so much. I will see you. I'm trying to think when I will be, oh, excuse me, next um, on probably, what day is it? Probably tomorrow at some point. Um, I think it's something different to tomorrow. And then maybe The Sims on Saturday. I'm thinking of Sims Saturday. And we'll be making The Family, I believe. But I'll let everyone know on social media about, about The Sims, because that's like a, a thing. God, look how greasy I am. Oh, when did that happen? Look at all that grease. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Have a beautiful evening, a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are. And I will see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.